What's up, everybody? This is the one, the only, you know me, Jason Christ, Jason the Baptist, he who is holy, the one and only Jason from the one and only Hustle Hard Movement. Sorry it's been a while since I did a video for everybody. You know, I've had a lot going on. I'm dealing with the healing process still, and I've uh, been walking a lot better for all of you who've asked, and I, I do thank you for the, uh, I thank you for the well wishes and all of that. So I decided to do a little video for you all today, okay? Um, this one, this one kind of hits straight to the heart, um... The other day I had posted something about different books I put out over uh, 2021 and a couple in 2020, but I, I had skipped a few of them that I'd done in 2020, believe it or not. Um, yeah, I forgot that I even put some out, but I had put out like six books, five, I think five books actually last year, um, <clears throat> which is probably more than most fucking writers put out in damn near some of their careers, you know, but um, I like to stay really busy and uh, I got asked, well, why do you do so many books? Why don't you just do one book? It's, you know, and just do one a year and let everybody buy it and do this. And I was like, kind of like, well, well, fuck you, homeboy. You know, and um, it made me think about something. And um, and it's kind of like this. So th this little video is going to be called Fuck What Other People Think. You do you, boo-boo, basically, okay? Um, and I, I really do mean that. And this, like I said, this is coming from the Hustle Hard movement. So... The reality is that no matter what you do, no matter how good you do it, no matter how bad you do it, if you want to really be real with it, it doesn't matter. People are always going to have something to say to you. People are always going to be like, oh, well, you should have did this. You should have did that. Everybody's got a motherfucking opinion about what you should do. And yet, them same people don't want to hear a single damn opinion about what they're fucking doing. You know what I'm saying? That's... um. That's really the the truth, you know. I mean, they'll be the first ones to be like, "Oh, you should do this, you should do that." Be like, "Huh, boy, you don't even have a motherfucking job. You you just chill. You sit on your couch. You know, you don't do shit. You know." But that'll be the first person to try to give you work advice. The fattest motherfucker always be the one to try to give you health advice, you know, and diet advice, shit like that, you know. The guy who says he's a mechanic who doesn't own a car or has a broke down car is going to tell you what car to buy, and that just is what it is, you know, and. What it really comes down to is, what is your journey? What is your mission in this life? Everybody else's opinions, fuck them. And I mean that, fuck them. Because they don't matter, you know? Everybody's got, the reason most people are going to give you an opinion anyway is because they're afraid to see you succeed. Because your success, I've said this before, the more you succeed in life, the more it shows those around you how little bit they're actually doing. Like, for example, um... Say you want to, you say, I remember at a point in my life, I had a couple houses I owned. Everybody's like, whoa, well, why you need more than one house? Why you, you own a house you live in? What do you want? Another? Well, I wanted it for a rental property, you know? And um, yeah, uh, so that's what I did. And people are like, oh, 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 motherfucker, you talking shit, you live in an apartment in the ghetto. And then you're dissing me because I'm fucking buying multiple houses and renting them out and shit. So, you know, like I said, fuck them. So this is going to sound kind of cheesy, but um, this is kind of how I feel like it. Like, for example, believe me, I've had this one before. I've, those of you who know me know that I've owned Porsches. So, you know what? Here's my theory on you want If you want a Porsche, you want a, a nice-ass sports car, go out, buy that motherfucker sports car. Don't worry about practicality. Now, granted, if you have rugrats and shit like that, you do have to think about practicality. But that's, some, that's on you. If you could afford that sports car and you want it, Get the motherfucking sports car. There's going to be plenty of people that are going to come out and be like, oh, well, you should have got the sedan. You should have did this. You should have did that. You know what they are? Hating on the fact that they don't have a Corvette and you do. That's just the way it works. Hating on the fact that you're driving a Porsche and they're driving a motherfucking Hyundai and not a good Hyundai, you know, not a Genesis, no shit like that. It doesn't matter, you know. And uh, another one, something I've done with most of my life. I've tried to chase my dreams. Um... I know that sounds cheesy to a lot of people, you know. I My dreams have changed, too, and that's the reality of shit. Your dreams will always change. But you know what? You got to chase them. A good example is I love being in the art. In, I, I'm in the art business, I guess you can say. You know, I do tattoos. I do piercing. I do paintings. I write books. Um, I made money doing all of it, you know. I, I, I put out T-shirts. Um, I do all sorts of shit. Whatever, it's kind of, to be real with you, if you asked my girl, she'd be telling you every time I get a feather up my ass and a new hobby, it turns into a passion. And the next thing you know, I'm trying to put it out there and um, 
trying to do something with it, you know? Even right now, I started making uh, Moonshine. I got stuck on the Moonshiners movie or the show on TV, and I started making it all and figured out how to do recipes, figured out how to do stills and stuff like that. And I'm not going to go out and try to sell it or anything like that. But if I made a bomb-ass fucking recipe, you better believe that I would try to market that shit and try to do it a legal route so I could actually, uh, other people could enjoy it as well. Not just make money, but people could enjoy it. That's chasing a dream. The reality is your dreams are always going to sound like insanity and craziness to other people anyway. The fact that you want to chase your dream is going to sound like true insanity to most people. So you got to remember, most people are already dead out there. They're not really even alive. They're out there and they're working some shit job that they hate. Fucking going in at 7 in the morning, punching their clock, working on whatever bullshit thing they're doing. Till 5 o'clock, they go home, they eat a shitty fucking manwich dinner or some shit. Sit down with an old lady or a fucking old man they don't like and fucking kids they didn't want and a dog that they just want to kick that keeps pissing on the floor or whatever. You know, they're already dead. So the fact if you're like, I want to start a business, I want to take a chance... That sounds like pure insanity to them. Not only, not really because it's really insane, but just because they know they'll never do it. And um, so they're going to hate on it, you know. They're going to have an opinion. Oh, don't do that. Get that 9 to 5. Have that security. Yeah, be an unhappy piece of shit like everybody else in fucking society, you know. And that that's kind of where that part is, you know. Um, I, I, I think you have to take a chance, you know. You have to. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. You have to do it, you know. Um, if you don't take that chance... You're just going to regret it. You know, I'm we're only here for, what, 80 years? So um, the idea of not taking a chance is pretty fucking stupid to me. So chase your dreams and start those businesses. And, uh, hey, if it doesn't work out, at least you fucking tried, you know? I don't know. Um, it, it's just... It's just... Um, it, it's kind of sad how much people want to get involved in your business, you know? Um, another example. Take a marriage... Hell, not even marriage. Just take about, take with being with the person that you want to be with. It doesn't matter what race that person is, what cultural background he or she has. It doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter what their job is. It doesn't matter if they're a criminal. It doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter if they're if, if, if you're a male and you want to be with a guy and a guy and a girl and a girl and a fucking guy and now you want to be in a relationship where it's. You and your old lady and another dude and or two girls and a dude. Whatever the fucking dichotomy is, is not my business, nor should it be anybody else's. Um, I, I'm a firm believer in that old saying that the lips never know what the heart's going to taste. So, you know, everybody's going to have an opinion. Fuck them. Because they're not on your journey. Now, I mean, that's something I'm... I've seen it a lot, you know, in life. Um, people talk shit about the people who other people are with and... uh you know, say I'm with some big old fat girl. Well, motherfucker, that's my fat girl. Fuck you. You don't like it. It ain't your business. That's my girl. You know, say I'm with a super skinny ass anorexic looking girl. Well, that's my little anorexic bitch. Mind your business, you know, period. That, that's me. If that's my girl and that's the one I want to be with, then that's the one I want to be with. You're not. That's not your journey. So mind yours. So I see that people need to be with whoever they want to be with because that's you. Don't worry about what other people think. And odds are, if you listen to somebody else and you leave somebody that you really want to be with because of, like, social pressure, etc., you're going to really, really regret that later. Um, another thing. Sounds cheesy. I remember when I went to college. Now, the reason I went to college, one, was because I didn't want to get a real fucking job. I'm not going to lie. I didn't want to have to go work in a factory like my friends. I, I knew a dude who got his arm ripped off because of his long-ass hair, you know? I knew people that got their backs hurt and shit at fucking 19 years old and kind of almost damn like a cripple. So believe me, hard work was inspiration. As my dad used to say, hard work is inspiration for higher education. So I went and I, I, uh, I went to college. Now, on the real... Did I do what I went to college for? Am I doing it? No, no. I went to college for me. I went to college to prove that I could do it to myself. And in a way, it's just kind of a big fuck you to everybody else who thought I was just going to end up straight in prison anyway. You know? But the thing is, if you go to college, people are going to say, well, you should have learned to trade. Why didn't you become an electrician? You could have made a lot more money. If you become an electrician, people will say, why didn't you go to college? You could have worked a lot less. You wouldn't have had to work so hard. Once again, your dream, your desires... 
If you want to go to college and learn about Indonesian basket weaving, and that's what you want to learn, and you want to be an Indonesian basket weaver, then go do it. That's your dream. That's your life. That's your journey. Fuck everybody else's, you know? Um, the reality is that no matter what you do, you can't please everybody. Nor should you ever even conceive of the concept of motherfucking trying to. Um, fuck them. It's not your, 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 your business. It's not their business. Everybody's going to have an opinion, like that old saying. Everybody has an opinion just like they have an asshole, you know? Don't bring yours around me. I don't need to bring mine around you, you know? Um, like I said, the most people with the most opinions are usually the ones with the least shit going on, you know? Um, it's your journey. Nobody else's journey. You know, if you want, well, here's what we can say. If you want to seem nice to everybody and deal with it, nod your head, smile, pretend to listen, be like, yeah, that's some really good advice. And then go do what exactly what the fuck you were going to go do anyway. That's what I've always done. And uh, no regrets, right? No regrets. Actually, no regrets. My life has been um, crazy at times. Fucked up at times, absolutely wonderful at times, and it's been one hell of a great ride, and I've really, really enjoyed it. And had I listened to everybody else and done what everybody else told me I should have done, I'd probably be pretty damn bored. I'd probably be sitting in some fucking Wayne, Nebraska, or or somewhere in South Sioux, and living in a situation I didn't want to live in, you know, and living at a job I didn't want to have, and an old lady I didn't want type shit. So that being it. I'm going to let you all go. This is Jason from the one and only Hustle Hard. <clears throat> Check out the uh, Amazon site, Jason, T-E-R-H-U-N-E. Please like and subscribe, and um, I'll hit you all later, okay? All right. Peace. As I say in old Canada, peace out. Or actually, I actually say, you know what they say, pitter-patter, get at her. As we say in uh, Miami Beach, dale, dale, hasta la huevo. And as I say here in uh, the wonderful Las Vegas, Nevada, doses. Peace out. I'll catch you all later, all right? Just like and subscribe, please share, all that type of shit.